The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the fifth chapter. And when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he began to speak, and he taught them, saying, Blessed the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and are there all sorts of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. One afternoon, I, this past month, I had finished my writing for the day of the Lord. It was done morally and had some time on my hands. And so I decided to just kind of flip through iTunes. And I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I just thought I'd just get to kind of flip through iTunes for a while and just kind of see some stuff that was in there. And I started clicking on, you know, clicking on some songs that I knew and I got up to the bottom and, you know, there's that, there's a list up there at the bottom of things that people who bought this song, other songs that they had bought, and, you know, kind of, you know, something that caught my fancy and clicked on that. I just was kind of following through that for a while, and all of a sudden, down at the bottom, there popped up this one song I've never heard of. It. This guy, Kenny Chesney. I don't listen to the country music, so I don't, I, I don't know who Kenny Chesney is. But there was a song down there, and it said, Everybody Wants to Go to Heaven. It's Thursday afternoon. It's 99 cents. It sounded kind of funny. So I, I clicked on the song, and I bought it. And, and have you any heard that song? I listened to it, and I was blown away because that is virtually everybody I know's theology about the end of time. If you don't know this song, the refrain goes, everybody wants to go to heaven, have a mansion high above the clouds, have their wings that fly around, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to go now. I bet everybody you know says the same thing. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to go now. I don't know if you've ever read the obituary page. I do, I do it on page. You read through the obituary page, and, and it says, you know, Bob or Sue or Bill or Jane, after a long struggle or a, a hard-fought fight or a, a, a battle with cancer or diabetes or Alzheimer's or name the disease, has not gone. We, we phrase all of this, we, we phrase even the latter parts of our lives as a battle. Right? Nobody wants to go now. Everybody wants to go to heaven. They all think they're going to be with Jesus, but nobody wants to go now, so they're fighting and they're battling. And, right? and you, your friend has cancer. And ask your friend, I bet somebody will ask them at some point, where are you going to fight it? Like this kind of attitude towards our, our lives. And and, and you get to a certain point, and with a tinge of sadness, they were too tired to fight anymore. 
that kind of stuff. And hardly anything about it. that we 
we say to a man or a woman who is in prison that God has not forgotten you. Every time we take our children to places where they experience the difference of the world and how God made it. Every time we do that, you see, God expands heaven. In many ways, the Beatitudes say to us, in the wild, wild west of the world, we are the outpost of heaven. The one standing at the edge of the chaos, all that there is in the world. We are the outpost of what God is doing in this world. Everybody wants to go to heaven. All you have to do is look around you. Look around you at the people around you and ask yourself, am I not already in at least some small inkling of what that means? Am I not at least in some small space of what God imagines heaven to be? Am I not at least in some small imagination of what God is doing in this world, not abandoning this world, but embracing it and bringing it all into himself? day comes when there's nothing left that's not part of 